everybody welcome back to my channel um, I'm here to do my July TBR sorry I'm in this area again my back keeps wanting to give out so getting up and down off the floor and maneuvering stuff is just not in the cards today so um, as you know I still do the triple RC challenge that's the readers romance romance readers reading challenge all the links will be below um, and I also do the A Million More Pages challenge. There's 60 of them. But I just kind of slot things in where they fit. So I'm not really going to go over the ones I'm going to be reading except for one. I'm going to try this month. Um, so the first challenge is um, Happy July Birthday. Read a book published in July or read a book with a red cover in honor of July's birth zone, The Ruby. So this is book two in, I don't know what it's, the series is called, um, but I meant to look at that. Uh, I don't know if there is a series name, but it is The Dead uh, by Charlie, Charlie Higson, and it's where a virus has come in, and everybody older than four, 14 or 16, I can't remember which age, has died or like become zombies. So, yeah, it's a bunch of kids. So, I read the first one a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, and the library due date is coming up soon, so I have to read that one. And I'm gonna just toss these on the floor. Sorry. Challenge two is baby names, so you have to read a book with either one of the four names in the author's name or in the story. So uh, this month's name is Grayson, diff two different spellings, Isaiah, or they also have meanings. So Grayson is son of the gray, or gray haired one. So you can read a book that kind of matches that. Isaiah, God is salvation. Daphne, Laurel Tree, or Eliza, God is My Oath, and I picked Grayson by Dolores Fawson. It's book one in the Lawman of Silver Creek Ranch. Um, I think it's a second chance romance. So it's Sheriff Grayson Ryland he wasn't easily shocked, but then his old flame Eve Warren returns to Silver Creek for the sole purpose of asking him to impregnate her. But there's somebody after her, so. Now book three, or challenge three, is featured author challenge Kay Bromberg. My library does not have any of her books. Um, so I had to go with something else. Um, you can go with some of the, like, match the fun facts about her. So, you know, he, sorry. New York Times bestseller author. Published her first novel in 2013. She writes contemporary romance and her books have been published in 16 countries. So you may also read a book set on the East Coast or by an author who is from the East Coast. You can also read any book published in 2013 or shelved as a contemporary romance or a book by an author who has been published in multiple countries. I'm sure this one matches quite a few. She is a New York best-selling author, so there you go. And I think I picked it because it was 2013. Uh, yeah, 2013. So it is... The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. I'm not sure what it's about, um, but it is a romance. Uh, Luke and Emmeline have been together all through high school in Colby, the beach town where they both grew up. But now the summer before college, Emmeline wonders if perfect is good enough. So it's young adult romance. Sorry. Um, the next one is um, challenge for lazy days of summer. Read a book that includes summer activities in the story or on the cover, such as picnic, playing frisbee in the park, going to the beach, pool, lake, etc. Or read a chick lit book, a cozy mystery, or a book that is perfect to read at the beach. And I love historical romance. I think they're just perfect for the beach. So I went with Someone to Love by Mary Bala, Bala, Balog, Balog. Um, it's first in the Westcott series. So Anna Snow grew up in an orphanage in Bath, knowing nothing of the family she came from. Now she discovers that the late Earl of Riverdale was her father and that she has inherited his fortune. 
and he is keeps others at distance yet something prompts him to aid Anna in her transition from orphan to lady so yeah but I do like her writing so challenge five is summer vacation read a book with some sort of travel involved vacation business trip out of state wedding or read a book with a plane boat or train on the story or on the cover and I of course went with echoes of Titanic by Mindy Starnes Clark and John Campbell Clark it's hard to I did lower them but it's her great-grandmother endured the sinking of the Titanic and its safety to America and I think it's like a family saga so anything having to do with Titanic and you know I'm right in there so there's that one and then the next challenge is six and it's the dog days of summer July 3rd to August 11th so read a book that takes place in the summer or in a hot environment you can also read a book that includes an animal of any kind oh where am I here of any kind in the story or on the cover a shifters count I am going with reckless girls by Rachel Hawkins it takes place on an island in the Pacific and there's six 20 somethings um, and I think it's a um, yeah murder mystery so. Oops. and then number seven is Independence Day and Canada Day um, yeah Read a book with the main character that is military, ex-military, police, um, fire service, or FBI. You could also read a book that has the birth of a child on it, in it, a pregnancy, or a main character with the child. And this is book two in The Lawman of Silver Creek by Dolores Fawson, which is Dade. So I will be reading that one. And this one, oh, it's got my last name in it. Caleb Brennan doesn't want Texas lawman Dade Ryland's protection. For one thing, his family hates her. For another, the attraction between them is too hot to handle. So it's just a... And she's going to be a testifying in a um, court case. Sorry. And so, yeah, he's probably going to protect her. Uh, let's see. Number eight. Are we up to it? Yeah, eight. Many of the little, oh, sorry, National Watermelon Month. Um, read a book with food service in it. For example, a chef, a baker, owns a business in the food industry, etc. Or read a book with food on the cover or with red on the cover. So this both has food and red. And I think it's book one in a series. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what the series name is. If I can find it. It does not say. So it is You Can Only Die Once by Shelley Costa. Costa. And there's a cannoli on the front so and it's Miracolo I can speak at Miracolo northern Italian restaurant one can savor brilliantly seasoned veal saltimbocca or luscious risotto alla Mil Milane Milanese I have not spoken Italian in a long time but no cannoli never cannoli so the spirited 66 year old owner of the philadelphia area eatery that's been in her family for four generations has butted heads with her head chef over the cannoli ban more than once and when the head chef is your own granddaughter things can get a little heated and i imagine somebody dies yep somebody dies so uh number nine is july flower larkspur or and water lily Read a book with flowers on the cover or has a florist in the story. Read a book that takes place in the mountains, at a national park, at summer camp, or at a campsite. Read a book that involves camping, hiking, glamping, or rock climbing. You can also read a book that has pink or purple on the cover. So I can actually use this one. I was thinking of, there's two that I can choose from. The first is Wings by April and Pike. Those are, that butterfly is made out of flower petals. And there's pink on the cover, so I can use this one. And it's Laurel's life is the very definition of normal until the morning when she wakes up to discover a flower blooming from her back. As it turns out, nothing in Laurel's life is what it seems. Now with the help of an alluring fairy sentry who holds the key to her true past, Laurel must race to save her human family from the centuries old fairy enemies who walk among them. So, fairies. 
or I could read um, Forget Her Knots, Every Flower Has a Secret by Amy Brickout White. And so obviously flower and pink. Um, wow, something, some power is blooming inside Laurel. Both of them have Laurel. She can use flowers to do things like bringing back lost memories or helping her friends ace tests or making people fall in love. So magical realism, maybe? So I did not even realize that their names were the same when I looked up those two books. And the last one is Reader's Choice. Read any book of your choice. And since the library due date is coming up on this one too, um, The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. And this is Casey Fletcher, a recently widowed actress trying to escape a streak of bad press, has retreated to the peace and quiet of her family's lake house in Vermont. Armed with a pair of binoculars and several several bottles of bourbon, she possess voila, speaking is issues today. She passes the time watching Tom and Catherine Royce, the glamorous couple living in the house across the lake. They make for good viewing. A tech innovator, Tom is powerful, and a former model, Catherine is gorgeous. One day on the lake, Casey survives, survives, saves Catherine from drowning, and the two strike up a budding friendship. I think this has to do with there's more than meets the eye. So, okay, so that's the Triple RC challenge. The one um, million more pages that I would like to get to, hopefully. In fact, I'm behind on that challenge. I'd like to get to a lot of them. But is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. I was supposed to read this in June and I didn't get to it. I picked a different book for it because it's quicker to read. And things have been going on this week. I will explain Monday. But so I'm going to try and get this one finished. I'm trying to. Ooh, a nice little pile there. And these three are all library due dates are coming due. So. Sabrina Jeffries, A Hellion in Her Bed, Historical Romance, Mired in Scandal After His Parents' Mysterious Deaths, Notorious Gambler Lord Jarrett Sharp agrees to, ta to tamely run the family brewery for a year if his Machiavellian grandmother resents her ultimatum that he marry. So, this one is book two. I think it's just a duology. Um, and the first book was called I open it uh, was it Shanghai girls I think so and it is Lisa C's dreams of joy so I don't really want to go into this because it is the sequel or the second in a duology but it is about the two girls in the previous book um, and Family Secrets, Shanghai, 1957. It's like a Asian saga, I guess. That'd be the easiest way to say it. And the last one, which it won't be the last one I pick up, but it's the last one that I'm hoping to pick up for the month. Well, you know what I mean. Um, you Were Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I believe they're sisters. But um, she wants to find, uh, you probably know someone like Shay Miller. She wants to find love, but it eludes her. She wants to be fulfilled, but her job is a dead end. You probably don't know anyone like the Moore sister. Oh, missed something here. The Moore sisters, they have an unbreakable circle of friends. They live a life of glamour and perfection. They always want what they get, what they desire. She thinks she wants her, her, their life, but what they really want is hers. I think I skipped something, but anyways. Yeah, so there's that one. So those are the books that I'm hoping to get to in July. Plus probably a couple extras as things have been going. I am now trying to have an audiobook at the, all the time, possibly an ebook when it has to. Well, when I can't get a physical copy. So that is what, 14 books? There'll probably be more. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Um, yeah. And I will talk to you later. Bye.